This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone, I'm Prashant and I have taken today's topic as interview questions for passing our Oracle Cloud interviews. So we may face various questions. So I have just taken the few of them in this first recording and we'll be taking further more questions in upcoming recordings. So let's start. We may be asked, what are the phases of implementation you have seen? For that, you have different model, implementation model here for the cloud. We have different implementation model for the EVS. So in cloud, we have engage, focus, refine stage, enable, and then operate stage. Earlier, we were having plan, design, configure, build, and transition phase, but nowadays it's a true cloud method, methodology. So enable, sorry, engage, focus, refine, enable, and operate. What happens in these phases? In focus, we go for the familiarization, configuration, and technical workshop. We do the workshop with the client to understand their business. Refine means process playback, conversion, integration. This process playback is similar to what we have as CRP1, CRP2 in EBS. Enable is end user training and cutover. Live operate is just go live and post production support. Now, next comes questionnaires. When we go for the workshop, we go with certain questionnaires. How we create those questionnaires? Because those questionnaires are required to fulfill our configuration workbook. Okay. I skipped the second question, which was implementation jargon. I have used one of the jargon as configuration workbook, another jargon as process playback. So in cloud, in interview, we, sh we should talk about this configuration workbook and we should talk about this process playback. We should use these words. Now questionnaires. Back to our question. So if we go and see, we have this uh, offering screen, click on any of the module, then click on this related documentation and from the setup task list, click on the Excel, you will get this setup list. So there are a lot many setup tasks mentioned here. Let me check how many, it's around 500. So it's more than 500, we may have task list and concrete task. And each and every task would have five or 10 individual fields that we have to fill. So we have to ask those questions from the client that what value should I put? Because this field will act as like impact of this field is this thing. So what value you want? So we have to create that questionnaire and we need to ask the client that thing, those questions. Now going back to our PPT. And the next question, it's uh, FBDI and BBDI. These are the file based data integrator. Earlier, we used to ask our technical team to create the data conversion sheets, but now Oracle has given FBDI and WebADI. Number uh, three, uh, file based data integration. So we can uh, upload the open PO suppliers. A lot many things can be uploaded. And WebADI, you are aware of it was used in EBS time as well. It's the any data that we need to fill. We need to first connect to the system, then download that file, then uh, fill that file and just click upload and it will be uploaded. Now, next question could be number of sheets in FBDI and WebADI. When you talk about that, I have worked on FBDI and WebADI. So a silly question could come that how many sheets were there in WebADI, like index sheet, then main table name sheet, then the conclusive sheet. In WebADI, we have once we completed the data, we have to generate Excel so uh, that XML generate XML so the XML gets generated and we have to upload that. And then next question could be how many person were there whom you interacted from the client side? So you need to be very clear on that part because they may ask if you are taking two name or three name, what were the roles of those person, how they help you, and who were the decision maker? Who gave you the instance when you did the implementation? Now, this is also a good question and tricky question. So when you get a instance, you have only admin access. So that admin will create a user for you. And yes, please note that you will have employee role and IT security manager role so that you can assign all the required roles by yourself. So these two roles are given by that admin to you when you get that test instance. What was the role assigned to you? Yes, see, I just told you that rules are employee role and IT security manager role. What are the additional roles you assigned to start working on? So yes, you need setup and maintenance. You need a lot many things uh, to perform this setup. So what all roles, additional roles you have added? 
So I have made some list of the roles. So this can be application implementation administrator, application implementation consultant. So when you want to enable that setup and maintenance, you assign this role. When you want to do some procurement activities, you need to assign procurement application administrator when you go for the VPN. So, so you need to assign catalog administration. When you want to go for this supplier, so you need to assign these roles for this so that you can create your suppliers and uh, for inventory, you need to assign inventory manager, warehouse manager. So these are the roles, certain roles I have listed. So they may ask name at least five roles. So mug up five roles, whatever module you are going for the interviewing, just you should be aware of five least roles used for your module. How many days of requirement gathering? So I have specifically mentioned, please very be very clear in your answer. It means they will be asking for the workshop and post workshop the duration, what you have communicated with the client, the questions, the to and fro and the problems. So this is the requirement gathering phase. It will go for three week or four week. So let them know how many days you went for this requirement gathering phase. Next is touchless buying. I will be covering this in my next video. So this much is enough for this video to start up. So thank you. Thanks for watching.